This time embarrassment was on the line. I probably wouldn't have had Thanksgiving if we lost, said Isaiah Thomas, who came perilously close to returning his turkey this morning, if not for the late heroics in last night's 84-80 Celtics win over Philadelphia. That, of course, would have been unthinkable after back-to-back -back losses in Brooklyn and Atlanta that were particularly dour for the lack of energy in each. And now here was Philadelphia, and 0-16 team by the end of the night, 0-26 starting back to last March, feeling good about itself. I remember Isaiah saying, man, they're talking smack. Said G. Crowder. Any spark in a slump works, especially when the other side starts chirping. They was talking smack said Thomas, who finished with 30 points and 6 assists. They feel like they were going to get their first win. But we just buckled down and made plays on the defensive end and that gave it to us. I told teammates a little bit. We didn't want their first win to be against us. So that last 3 or 4 minutes was a confidence builder for us, because it didn't look good for us for most of the game. C's coach Brad Stevens said he had some real conversations with his players prior to the game, about reconnecting as a unit, about returning to a certain defensive standard, but nothing can set a fire like trash talk from a group of players still searching for their first win. But the Sixers were the dominant side for most of the night. The combination of Jalil Okafor and Nalens Noel, the former with four blocks, tied a league high this season with 14 blocks. The Seas became a little rattled in the paint, and struggled to find good shots elsewhere. Stevens later said that his team indulged in a few too many home run balls, that they seemed to be playing tight. As a result they lost the lead early in the second quarter and didn't get it back until Crowder, off an Evan Turner shovel pass from under the basket, buried a three-pointer from the top of the circle with 38.5 seconds left for an 82-80 lead. Turner who often refers back to his boyhood idol Michael Jordan, joked about the greatness in this assist to Crowder. I thought about MJ passing to Steve Kett, said Turner. And I thought, well, let me add that to my legacy. I'll pass one time. And that was it. It was unbelievable actually. Ingenious by me. Crowder's bomb was the second to last basket in an 18-3 Celtics run over the last 6-02 of the game and was the high point of a wildly active fourth quarter by the forward. He heard boos while missing two free throws with 4.32 left, and the C's trailing by 6 points 76-70. But he also hit the first of two fourth quarter three-pointers on the next possession, and dove to force a turnover on the possession after that. Though Avery Bradley missed from the corner after scooping up the loose ball, Jed Sullinger disrupted the paint for his 15th rebound. The C's big man, mainly responsible for guarding Okafor, for 19 points, then took the ball on the inbounds and hit a jumper from the baseline. After Okafor 4 spun out of the post to convert a three-point play, Turner answered with two from the line, and the Sixers collapsed with three straight turnovers, two forced on steals by Crowder and Bradley. Thomas' transition drive cut the Philly lead to 80-79, and the next time down Crowder took the lead with his shot from the top of the arc. Thomas, who scored 18 of his 30 points in the second half, finished it off from the line with 1.4 seconds left. It was Thomas' second half aggression, according to Salinger, that brought the offense back to life. I saw those opening up for me, Thomas said. I just wanted to make plays, whether it was me scoring or trying to get others involved. My job is to make plays, especially in the fourth quarter. I just try to do the best I can of reading what they were giving me. And we got the win, so I'm happy about that.